Yeah, you're right, sis, but well, let's start over. Let me, let me talk to you, sis. Sister, this is what, sis, 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 listen, sis, and listen, sis, sis, I need you to listen. I need you to listen, okay, because you will get the answer out of the scriptures. This is not an open dialogue of opinion. I asked the question for a reason, because no one had the answer according to the Most High. That's what we're here for. We can open this thing up for opinion. Listen to what I'm trying to show you, sis, because at the end of the day, the Most High is going to show you why. Okay? So let me show the sister out of the Bible. Sis, 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 the blame goes on Satan and those that follow him. That's who the blame go on, okay? Now let's go. Let's, let's go into the Bible. You have a Bible in front of you, okay? Let's let's open it up. Get Deuteronomy thirty-two and twenty-one, because this is not no thing back and forth. This is what the Most High said. Read it. Get Deuteronomy thirty-two and twenty-one. Read that. Deuteronomy thirty-two and twenty-one. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not the Most High. The Most High says. Israel moved to the jealousy with that which is not the most high. Look at this here. You know what? We is going to point some blame. It's, we're going to point the blame to all the people that don't want to follow what the most high said. Okay? The most high pointing the blame. He pointing the finger. That's why we're in this condition. Read it again. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not the most high. We moved the most high to jealousy with that which is not the most high. We started following I idols, creatures, following what the Egyptians was following. We wanted to follow what the other Hamitic people were following. That's what happened to us. There was no need for Israel to dabble into these other religions because they already had a God and a belief and an understanding and a culture separate from the rest of the world. Israel was not to go into the God of the Gentiles. The God of the Bible warned Israel over and over again to stay away from the nations and their gods and their beliefs. Read. They have provoked me to anger with, that, with their vanity, and I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. So the Most High says, since you're going to put up a no God for me, I'm going to put up a no people for you. I'm going to show you how I feel to put up nothing. I'm going to put up a people that I didn't choose to rule over you. A people, not just regular people. What type of nation? Read that again. I will, I will move them to jealousy with, the, with those which are not a people. Read. I will provoke them to anger with the foolish nation. And I'm not going to put a smart nation over you, Israel. I'm going to put a foolish nation over you. I'm going to put a nation that don't know how to deal with the earth over you. Because why? You're putting dumb things over me. You're worshiping rocks. Sis, this is, I'm teaching, sis, sis, I'm teaching a class, sis. You're going to have to relax. Write the scriptures down and listen. Read that again. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not the most high. They have provoked me to anger with their vanity. Go ahead. And I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. And I will move them to jealousy with them that are not a people. So the Lord says, since you want to put up a no God for me, I'm going to put up a no people for you. That's why Israel is suffering all over the earth and the other nations are benefiting. Even, even these people are not even following the laws of the Most High and are benefiting. Why? Because the Lord said he will put a foolish nation over you. A nation that don't follow the laws of God. Okay? And that way, he can provoke us to jealousy to come back to the Most High. How do you know that? Hold that. Get Romans 11 and 12. See, we're here to help fill in some of the gaps. That's what the Lord sent us here for. Some people don't know why we suffer in this earth. They teach us individualism and make you think that, well, you choose your own path. Let me tell you, these paths, a lot of these paths were set for you. Satan set a path to fall for you. You didn't have a society that was teaching you the laws from your youth, the, that, that showed you how to follow the most high from your youth. Okay? Satan set a society to keep Israel in darkness. We're going to show that. Read Romans 11 and 12. Read that. Romans 11 and 12. 
Now, if the fall of them be the riches of the world. Now, if the fall of them be the riches of the world. When we fell, when Israel fell, the whole earth got rich. Read. And the diminishing of them, the riches of the Gentiles. How much more their fullness. So how much more when God give the earth back to the people? See, that's what Satan is trying to stop. That's what the Gentiles that are following Satan. They're trying to stop us from getting our fullness. Read. For I speak to you Gentiles, and as much as I am apostle of the Gentiles, I okay. magnify my offer. Read on. If by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are of my flesh. So Paul says he wanted to provoke to emulation those that are his flesh. Those were Israelites. Read. It might save some of them. It might save some of them. Read. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall the receiving of them be? But life from the dead. Go ahead. For if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. So I, I went here to show you that even Paul understood that Israel had to be provoked to jealousy to come back to the Most High. Like Israel, aren't you tired of being on the bottom? Yes. Aren't you? People say that, listen, we call our own shots. What shots are you calling? Huh? Tell the truth. Is this your government? Did you, did you draft the Constitution? Where's your, where's your homeland? Who are you? What's your purpose? Oh, I know what my purpose is. Just to go to school, go to church, and get an education, be a good citizen, and die. What scripture is that? This whole thing has been set. So that all of you can be used like a battery, used out and kicked out, and, and generate your children to keep this system going. That's it. What is your true purpose? What were you made for? This is what the nations and this society and the governments have kept from you. What is your purpose? Okay. And see, some people might feel a certain type of way if I just come out with it, but I'm going to say it. And there's nothing wrong with it. Israel's purpose is to rule. Now, a lot of you might say, well, hold up. Isn't that wrong? I don't see you arguing with the other people that have ruled the earth. So why is it such a bad thing when, it, when it's our turn? Because you've been programmed to think that you can't be anything but a slave. 